Hey, how you doing, guys? Cool. Tell you what, the smell of it. Got a little bit of pepper going up my nose. I do know it's only uh, red chilli in that, which is normally the way flowers are made anyway. It doesn't go above red chilli. Hello dudes, how are you alright? Uh, yeah, this is the mega hot chicken fowl available from Erin's Food. Uh, it is a two pound chicken fowl. So, we're going to see if it's got any heat. Uh, the smell gives me a little twing, but it's nothing, you know. Be honest, I know the authentic uh, recipe is with red chilli, any flowers. So if you think that it's like, wow, that's really hot, it's not. Uh, basically, it's done with puree, powder, and then chilli flakes. So it's like three different sorts of heat all at once. And that is the way it's meant to be cooked. And that's just red chilli. How bad could we make it? Uh, it's got the taste. Sauce in that runny. Okay. Try a bit of the meat. Probably going to let it cool down because it's a tad hot. Like I say, this is only a two pound cheap, run of the mill, mega hot. It's not got warning labels on it, it just says mega hot limited edition. So if you've got a herons near you, you can find it, two pound. Can't go wrong. Uh, very, I don't know, very low heat. I feel it slightly at the back of me. Tongue slightly, very, very slightly. Afternoon, Stefan. Uh, I'd say probably homemade, you could probably do better than this. I'm a bit good about this because I was hoping it was going to be hot, hot. Bit of a shame. Yeah, the, if anyone else can find a better microwave uh, file better than I can, please go ahead. No, it's got nothing. That's a shame. It's got a nice curry taste, but it hasn't got the heat. Yeah, no worries, Tony. Uh, like I say, mate, it, it's got the flavour-ish, but um, no, it's not. It hasn't got any other sort of heat. You know, the, the heat is probably coming from me putting it in the microwave, not from the actual curry. I don't mean to... This is just normal, what I'm saying. I don't mean there's any sort of cuss to any sort of company, but it could do better. Uh, I'd say the chicken is probably, for that sort of size of thing, you probably get a few more pieces than what you normally get in a microwave meal.
It's not a foul sauce. It's not red. It's uh, I don't know. It's a little bit more spicier than I suppose what a microwave vindaloo would be. You know, if I was doing that, I'd be sweating and hiccuping by now. Fouls are fouls. I suppose you've used the neck or the curry in a shop, you might get a good bang off it. Uh, I don't know. I'd say for a mould pick me up, you do like three or four spoonfuls. I think probably Tony, I think probably if you used to have this and you was to do the same thing what we was discussing when you done the uh, last curry, what you did where you added a bit extra, I think you probably, it'd be nice. I'll tell you what. Not too much of the flavour what a red chili is anyway. Right, there's the Scotch bonnet pod put in. Let's get hot. Mix that all in. Let's see if we can improve. Hey, herons. Chicken fowl. By the way, this is the uh, hottest takeaway meal they do in England, I guess. I thought Tindaloo was hard, but it meant to be hotter, but I tried it and found out it wasn't. That's a bit more like it. I've got the burden on the back of the phone now. Oh yeah. That's how far it should be. People who make foul, add Scotch bonnets. Or habaneros, whichever you like. Not just red chilli. You ain't got the bite. I'm Madhouse. Oh, you're all right. Oh, so much better. That is a sufficient burn. That's the sort of meal you know. You like. That's giving me what I need. Mm. If I could do X-rated words on this. But I can't. I can tell you it's really nice. The Scotch bonnet. Baby. Flavour. Everything. Oh. 
Uh, nah. Nah, I didn't get enough. That's warming up. That's what you need. Woo! That's nice. And it, it doesn't look like the flavour. Right then, guys. That is my afternoon live today. I'm going to carry on eating my dinner in peace. See you later.